Vladimir Klitschko versus Marius Wack. Uh, this is this will be the second big, clumsy, incredibly slow fighter that Vladimir has fought in a row. <laughs> um, Marius Wack, I mean, he's big, right? He's what is he six seven six eight? He's a big guy. Uh, oh man. What can I say about Marius? Those of you who have seen Marius Wack fight know exactly why I'm lost for words right now. I mean, what can you say about Marius Wack? He's a big guy, um, kind of looks like a hunchback and um, fights like a, a hunchback. <laughs> yeah. He fights like you would imagine a hunchback to fight. I've never seen a hunchback fight. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's Marius Wack for you. It is what it is. Very slow, uh, very crude. Um, am I selling him short? You lot tell me. But I, you know, I've seen I've seen Marius Walk f- fight a few times. Not impressed. Not impressed to say the least. Uh, should be easy work for Vladimir. Uh, Vlad- Vladimir stick the jab on him, um, break him down, maybe knock him out towards the end of the fight, uh, the late rounds. I don't think he'll be. He, he probably won't be as. Um, adventurous as he was in the in his last fight the rematch with Tony Thompson because obviously this is a new opponent against Tony Thompson he knew that Thompson didn't really have anything to hurt him with and he knew that you know he knew all Thompson's moves he'd fought him before and he'd knocked him out before so he had that more confidence going into the you know, into the rematch whereas in this fight of Marius Wack you know he's he's fighting a guy he's never faced before so I expect him to be a little more cautious than he was against uh than he was against Tony Thompson. But Marius Wack, you know, he's incredibly slow. Um, he does keep his hands up well, I suppose. Um, as far as I know, he's never been down, so he might have a good chin. You know, he's definitely a big guy. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what he can do with Vladimir in here, man. Um, maybe he's physically strong. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but from, you know, from what I've seen of Marius Wack, it should be business as usual for Vladimir Klitschko. He should jab him to death. Land a straight right hand, left hook. You know, whatever he wants to do, he'll probably do it with uh, with Marius Walk. Obviously, Walk's going to come in there with a lot of confidence because he's a big guy himself. But I don't see it, man. I don't see it. I think Vladimir probably win maybe around 10 for 11 for a knockout. That's what I'm going for. He'll, he'll control the guy with a jab. L- like I said, Walk is a big guy himself. He's probably got the same reach as Vladimir, but I haven't seen him utilize his height and reach and his jab the same way that Vladimir can. He's, he's just nowhere near as athletic as Vladimir. You don't move as well. He's not as quick. Um, <laughs> like I said, he, he he looks like a hunchback. So, um, no, I'm, I'm I'm not convinced that he can really do much against Vladimir. I mean, upsets happen in boxing. You know, Vladimir, once upon a time, lost to a journeyman called Russ Purity. So, you know, anything can happen. Vladimir's getting on in the age. Upsets do happen. It's not beyond the realms of possibility that Marius Wack would win this fight. Um, but I don't expect it to happen. I think Vladimir is just going to be too athletic, too good, too accurate, too powerful, um, and he should win this fight probably inside the distance. If not, a nice clear points victory. Um, there's always there's always the uh, possibility that Wack may have a you know an iron jaw, and he may he may be able to walk Klitschko down, um, Antonio Margarito style. <laughs> that's a that's possible. You never know. You know maybe he's got that kind of chin. <laughs> And that kind of self belief, but I doubt it, you know. And he's he's, he's extremely slow, so um, now nah, I'm taking Klitschko in this fight. Um, let me let me know what you lot think in the comment section below. This is Hatman. I'm out.